ships. <laughs> Most people don't have as many ships in the hangar. And we have different levels of hangars you can have. So you have a basic hangar, a business level hangar, and then the deluxe hangar, which is the one where you've got lots of ships, you get. And uh, our smallest ship has about 300,000 polygons. Our biggest ship, which is a constellation, which is here on the left, is about a million and a half polygons. So I think that the, the key at our widest angle, which is probably kind of around about here, uh, maybe if I go to the angle, we're rendering about 18 million polys a frame. Obviously, it's pretty fairly smooth. And so here's our character. And um, so I'm just going to go over and we're going to take a look at the different uh, ships. Let's try it here quickly. So this is the 300i, which is sort of the mid-level ship, and you can sort of see my scale next to it. Um, and you know, part of the idea of this is almost like having a car in your garage, and you can sit down and I'll climb into it. So we're down here in the 300, and 300 is a single, you know, one-person ship. It's sort of the, the Origin Jump Works, which is the brand of manufacturer that makes this ship, is uh, sort of the BMW of our universe. And uh, so, of course, you can also sit down. Oops. Oh, someone's got, someone plugged the speaker in. There you go, okay. Uh, so we're just sitting in, and uh, you can look around your cockpit. I'll, I'll exit from the get out. Okay, so let me jump out here. What is someone doing? What are the headphones doing? All right. Um, so okay, so we'll walk over here, and over here is. The smallest of uh, the ships you can actually um, back for or have, or it's where you, if you're starting at the base level of the game, you do, which is the Aurora, which uh, you know is, a, is relatively, if you look at my scale next to it, smaller than the one I'm in, but it's actually pretty cool itself. Let me just jump inside that really quickly, show a few features. And you know, we're early stages at the moment. Obviously, there's you know you're flying around in space, a whole bunch of other stuff. But every, the idea is that every spaceship has its own unique feel. Uh, you can do lots of things, and of course, you know, we can do the same just getting into the cockpit. And as we further move along, obviously, displays and all that work, and you can sit in, you can do your displays, and play with it, can't drive it just yet. Um, and there's, there's other functionality that happens in uh, all our ships. So uh, this is our smallest ship, but if you're on a uh, long, long haul flight and you're in autopilot, well, you certainly could get into your hypersleep head <laughs> and hang out while you're cruising through the stars. Go, but as I'm now doing a demo, let's get back out and uh, show some other features. So I'm going to go over here. So we've, we've got quite a few ships in this hangar, and the other thing that we can do is uh, we can sort of change around equipment on our ships, and this is a, another pretty cool feature, which is um, the hollow table, and it sort of allows us to see all the ships we have in our hangar. Uh, so these are the various ships we have, and I'm going to select the Hornet, uh, which is sort of the single-seater dogfighter, and uh, I want to change out, I'm going to change out one of the weapons, probably the weapon on the right wing. So uh, let's do the Omniski <coughs> 6 cannon. So we're looking, you can see it on the side. This is actually kind of a nice thing about high infinity is you can get the full peripheral vision. So we're going to drop that down onto um, the wing. And, if I, and actually, if I sort of, you can see, 
this is you know, fully. And if this is in, if this was on the Rift or this was in stereoscopic, that's all you know, beautiful 3D, which is kind of kind of fun. It's very sort of Iron Man ish. So we'll turn that off. And uh, the Hornet's a little bit over, so I'm going to run over here because in the very biggest hangar you uh, have a couple extra things like. We have a buggy. Buggies are always good. And let's, uh, I'll try not to get anything. There we go. And that, on the left is Freelance, which is one of our larger ships, two person ship. And this is the Hornet. So I'll. Get out, and you can sort of see this is the original gun, which is that sort of three barreled triangle looking gun. And if I go along here, if I'm looking on Sigma's man, you can see we switched out to the gun that we, 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 uh, we did in the hollow table, which is kind of cool. And like all these ones, they've got you know, great detail in the cockpit. So I'll just show you the Hornet, which is the sort of single seated dogfighter ship that you can be flying. And in the final game, like all the displays, everything works, animates, uh, when you're touching, when you turn things on and off, you'll actually be switching the switches. It's all about emotion. So any of you remember the old Wink Man, it was, all, it was, it was definitely about sitting in, you know, you could see your hand on the joystick and your, your uh, feet. Up. We're gonna get out and um, we're gonna run over to uh, the Constellation, which is the big four person uh, ship. So you can sort of get a sense of the scale and like more things that happen inside that um, because it's a much bigger ship. It's actually one of the cool features of Star Citizen is that uh, there are ships that are built for co-op play where multi, multi people can play them, so one person can be flying, another person can be uh, running around in the uh, uh, manning turrets, and uh, I'll, I'll show you when we get there. Okay, so. You can sort of feel that, like the constellation there's a much uh, the freelance is one quite a much bigger one. As we get up to constellation, get out. And so, if you sort of see my scale next to the constellation, which is this is one of the bigger ships you can fly. Uh, you, know, you can definitely feel the difference between this and the Aurora, which is a small ship. And that's one of the really cool things about Star Citizen is that the same fidelity is applied to the big ships as it is to the small ships, and they all have the same level of uh, detail inside. So let me just uh, go in here. I'll hit the elevator. We'll walk inside. Okay, so back here is that's the sort of command center. Um, yeah, there's just all sorts of little things we can do, like. Hit that the dining table will come out. Here's the cargo hold. There's actually a uh, small snub nose fighter in here that when you're in combat you can jump into the deploy. Uh, if you same feature, hypersleep, but there's four bunk beds in the constellation. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, oops. Even a shower. <laughs> Or there's even a toilet. <laughs> uh, so, we don't have you. Yeah, I, I know. Everyone loves the toilet. Uh, we don't have any reading material, so I think we're going to go back up to the front. Um, we'll just charge over here really quickly. And as usual, there's. Captain's chair, so if you want to be flying in the game too, which is kind of fun. And again, same thing. You can play off the controls, you can't fly it just yet. Appreciate the, the nice little animation the guys have done. Uh, and uh, so one of the things, which this is new, it'll actually be new for our backers here, I haven't seen this yet, is... Barker sets all amazing. I can't 
Can yeah. we? We got this last thing, and we're going to yeah. do the fan the turret. That's our end of it. So all the little bits and functionality and stuff that's kind of cool on these ships, huge amount of detail. Anyway, we'll drop back to the presentation. I know I took a fair amount of your time up there. Um.